Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about surface area to volume ratios in physical chemistry. Now, the surface area to volume ratios will obviously vary by object, but what you have to consider is that it's inversely proportional to its size. Now, something to consider is larger ratio objects will have, will have small diameters, and, it's and surface area to volume ratios are involved in reactivity, which is the rate at which chemical reactions will proceed. Now, those objects with larger ratios or smaller diameters will have a greater reaction rate than that of mon monolithic materials because there's actually more surface for which to react. What that basically means is that uh, things will occur a lot faster than normal. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and this is a brief glimpse as to surface area to volume ratios and physical chemistry.